It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer today. We've got a can of Oney IPA coming from Oscar Blues Brewery. It's our 100 calorie hazy India Pale Ale coming at a 4% ABV, 12 fluid ounces, which is 355 milliliters. Nice looking can. Got a bit of 60s hip going on. Without further ado, let's get the can out into a glass, see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the can opening, beer in the glass. Ooh. One finger, white head, good levels of carbonation, a hazy looking IPA. Let's get the aroma. Straw coloured, hazy IPA. Aroma. Ooh, hoo -hoo, this is full of hops. Really juicy. Mango, passion fruit, grapefruit, orange peel. Oh, that smells fantastic. And at 4% ABV, I can tell from now, just for the ABV and the aroma, it's going to be a right slugger. You're going to want to just slug this down. Let's dive in. Cheers. Ooh. Cool, blimey. That is, that is very drinkable. Very drinkable beer, really refreshing. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth, releases all of the flavor. It's orange peel, fleshy blood orange, passion fruit, mango, citrus, pine needle, like walking through a pine forest, grabbing some wet pine needle and squishing it in your hand and then smelling that pine. It's got a nice bitterness on the back end as well. A nice bitterness. And there's a certain sweetness in there which I'm just trying to grapple with. There's something slightly peculiar about this beer. I really like it, but there's something with the sweetness. I'm trying to work out if they've, to get the calories at 100 calories, they've done something, they've, it, it almost seems, yes, you can taste the malt, but they've replaced some of the malt with something else to, I don't know, to, to get the calories to what it is, I suppose. There's a certain real dryness to it. This is a dry IPA. It dries the back of the palate but refreshes you at the same time. So almost like, I tell you what, that, that style went away as quick as it came, didn't it? 2018 was the year of the Brute IPA. It came and went very quickly. But this has got that kind of dryness, that Brute IPA dryness to it. Just reminded me, what happened to them, Brute IPAs? They just weren't very good, were they? They're just like, just a bit like, ooh, a bit weird tasting. There's a slight aspect of that in here. Light, crisp, Brute IPA. Bitterness on the back end. Let's, hopefully there's something to be said here regarding how they've done this. There's not, it's just... Um, they've given zero proteins, five grams of carbohydrates, zero percent fat. Uh, brewed in Canada, Oscar Blues Brewery, Longmont, Austin in Texas. Of course, Oscar, Oscar Blues for me um, will always be remembered for the 10 fiddy. Um, the Oscar Blues 10 fiddy 
in a can um, was the first beer that I had. I think it was the first ever Imperial Stout I ever had. And I was like, oh, blimey, this is bitter. This is like incredibly kind of astringent. At the time, I'd like to have another can actually to, to try it out now, just to see how my palate has developed all over that, all over the years. But it's been 10 years since I've had a 10 fiddy. So, so I've been drinking on and off over the years, 10 years of, of, of Oscar Blues beers. And this is, yeah, it's a different one. It's a different one. I don't think it's going to appeal to everybody. There's just something different about it. I wish they told me on the side of the can. I like the hops. I like the jamminess. I don't know, quite jamminess. Jamminess is the wrong word. I like that passion fruit and mango and citrus. I love all that pine needle bitterness on the back end. But there's something in the sweetness to begin with that's slightly off. I can't work out what it is. It's dry something I don't I don't know I don't I can't put my finger on it and as a beer reviewer I don't think you can always get your finger on it can you you, you can't always get it right I'm sure there's people out there professional brewers who will be commenting in the comments box going this is how they did it type of thing and this is what you're tasting and I'd appreciate that if you would comment in the comments box as, uh, if you've had a similar experience to me with this beer I'm gonna rate it I'm gonna give it a six it's a six out of ten Love the back end, not so sure about the, the sweetness to begin with. Thanks for watching. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!